Hello and welcome back to the next episode. We are on number six already. Now, I've been looking around what we can do with our cache and I went for the map mode that we created at some point. As we can see here, we do have this province here, which has a massive deficit. Is there another one somewhere? I don't see. Uh, no. Because these values are the same, so it has to be this one here. I think I picked it already. Yeah. So this one is 17k. It just needs amenities too. Let's do this. Oh, it was already selected. Okay. 190. That's fine. So that's the only problematic part here. Bari and Naples itself are positive here. Quite positive, in fact. Mm, we could consider that we want to boost our Athens Harbor further. So we were building Amenities 2 here. We also invested into the... Oh, we didn't. Oh, it has glass. Okay, we should boost this one up. So we are going to pick Attica here as well. And we are going to build a harbor here. At least level 2, maybe even Three. Let's check the price. Yeah, three is okay. And then we invest 50 ducats into it. Anything else here? Mm, commerce probably isn't worth it right now. Commerce here. Oh, yeah, we could do something here. Yeah, we are far from our burger cap. So let's do commerce here and get that going. Okay, uh, there are some pretender rebels in Rome, apparently. We should help them out. So let's move our troops here. And yeah. So to, I still didn't 100% decide on how I want to do everything. Mm. Mostly because there are a lot of options and I'm just not sure. Hmm. Another peasant war, really. 11, so three years. In three years we would have the next one against Hungary. Hmm. I'm still leaning towards going to war against the Ottomans soonish. <laughs> okay, that's useful. That's indeed very useful. Okay, do we have naval cap? Yes, we do. So we are going to recall our fleet here. We are going to train for a year. The Ottomans are going to take out the remnants of Bulgaria here. And we are going to get some more galleys here. Let's get through the force limit. So that's about like a year and a bit. <laughs> so we are going to let them do stuff. Where do we have rebels now? First of January. So... That might be veiled in our favor that they are going against Hungary. Of course Hungary is quite weak, but... It will still keep them busy here. Down there. Okay, they have to take care of that on their own. Papal sanctions. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to make a spy network here now. Oh, there's another 100 years war. Okay. Interesting. Apparently because France is busy. 
Oh, okay, we also wanted to go against France. Hmm. I mean, the timing is perfect yet now. Because they are busy. Yeah, I think we are going to go against France and not against the Ottomans here. Just because of the timing. I mean, let the Ottomans take the remnants of Bulgaria here, it's fine. Ooh, is Castile in? Ooh, Castile is on the English side. Oh yeah, we definitely go for war. Okay, let's let's remove these rebels and move our army over. So we don't we don't need to do this spy network here at all. Instead, we can do this spy network here. And now get to the rat. So. And now we get put. Oh, Savoy is even also at war. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's start the war already. We go for Lemuras here with Austria and Milan. Scotland already doesn't want to be in there. And here we go. All on France now. That's perfect. And severe looting of course. Get our fleet over there. Or rather our army. Milan is already in. Mm. If we can, we also want to get the Mallorca provinces out of it. Wait a second, can't I go into this? Oh no, I can't. So let's start here. Burgundy is also in this war. And free now. Ooh. Because France attacked Burgundy. Interesting. Okay, I think France is in for a lot of pain here. Yeah, not going to help them here. Not this time. We have other problems to solve here. Going to put one of our guys here on... Oh no, we have one on subjects. It's a rebellion brewing. Eunice. Ooh, okay, we have to help them when this spawns. So we have to just take this siege here. And then probably sail down to Tunis once. To help them. I mean, the most important one are these cores here. Now let's see when these rebels spawn in Tunis. More ships are finishing up. Which is good. We need those. In fact we might actually want to consider a slow war, a uh, fast war here. Just break France a bit. Okay, we won that. Not unexpected here. Oh yeah, let's get Montpellier. If we can. But there is the revolt. So we have other priorities now. We want to... Go here.
That's a lot of troops. For our vessel to handle. Here we go. First one here. And then into this one. Noble birth. Ah, no, we can't. No, we're not going to do special commissions here. Not right now. Not in the middle of a war. Yeah, going to promote once. <clears throat> Anyone here? Yeah. We can get there on our own, probably. Come on. Bye, bye, bye. And then we fail back to France. Okay, there we go. Load the ships. And we go to Provence. And then we sail to move to Montpellier. <laughs> Another angry mob here. We don't care about that one now. Not our job. There we go. Move here, move here. It's... Yeah, France is losing heart now. So basically, our war goals are the really. Still 30 aggressive expansion, even if it's a reconquest. Mallorca will lose these cores in a hundred years, so that's fine. <laughs> Remove him. And loot it. And I want to go to Paris. First of all, we go to an Orleans. And then from there to Paris. A respected figure. Yep. They would already accept this. Interesting. Now we could weaken them. But I don't think I want to. I think that's all we want to take basically so let's pillage paris for money why can i not get there where is the fort that i can't see oh it's this one for whatever reason i thought it was controlled for a second Mamluk is no longer a valid vessel, uh, rival, for whatever reason. Oh, the war has ended, that's why.
Okay, we should get out of the center of... We can't. Great. We have to siege this down. To get mobile again. But... Ah, England is still in, but... Castile... Took... The way out. Interesting. They inherit... Apparently, Castile was protecting... Burgundy has the whole no lowlands. Interesting. That's a very strong. Strong one. Okay, um I'd like to make a small change here. So we're going to take these of course. 60. Our young wouldn't like it. Okay, this is too much, but this would work. Yeah, I don't want to do a long war here, so let's get out of it. There we go. Uh, it doesn't fit our agenda. Let's go in here. Now we got our course back. Perfect. And I'm going to release Oh, interesting that the UI is failing here again. Mallorca is a vessel, of course. There we go. Now we have Mallorca on the map. Although we are now one relation slot above our cap. Mm. Yeah, this is not working at no progress at all here. I mean, now there is progress slowly. Democratic expansion is done. Do we have... No, no, 19 we have now. So expand again. And we do another grain for the commoners. What was the other interaction? Empower local traders? Ah, that would give us uh, the foreign trade posts up. Okay. Where are we now? We are now at 1.2 more exhaustion. Which means we could consider to still go after the Ottomans here. But they have a lot of stuff. I'm going to make a claim here. And then get out of the spy network again. <clears> hmm. <throat> Is there anything else we could annex here? I don't think that we want to do military idea group here right now. I think I want to go bureaucratic here. Why do we have a naive enthusiast again? Really? <laughs> oh, Genoa actually took that. Is Venice is still around, but where? <laughs> this is the only province Venice has left. Ah, oh, that's funny. That is really funny. At least that means that also our conquest of Genoa is something we want to do soon. 
Why is the liberty that I know so high? I don't know. Ah, uh, probably because we had another vessel now. So for some reason, I'm thinking that I want to let the Ottomans win. For them to take stuff closer to Austria. Therefore, they might be more inclined to join that war. Yeah, maybe. On the other hand, we could also just clear. So, military armies. Total. They don't have much manpower left, but we don't have as well. Hmm. <laughs> So it's fine. What's a war exhaustion of them? Can't see it here. Hmm. Pantry. Where are they? Osmanli. They earned 80 money, 9% inflation, income 15. 82 prestige is a lot. Still 15k. But 4 war exhaustion already. But we can go to. Military tech 21 now. Upgrade to bomber tier. Do we also have more military power here? No, we are still far above our force limit, sadly. Come on. If I were to do this... Okay, why? Okay, I need to re reduce their opinion of the Ottomans here. Now we don't have enough papers. Yeah, that was to be expected. Okay, we have to carry some papers again here. Hungary is now a great power. Interesting. Could of course also just jump on Hungary and do the reconquests here. Austria would love to join Milan as well. I mean, why not? We could just consolidate this part and then we can annex Croatia, which would free up one slot. We already talked about that. So why not? Let's go to here. It's not the best solution. And it doesn't 
weaken the Ottomans. Instead, we are actually making this war for them even easier. But... I'm not sure what else to do. <clears throat> because I don't think that I can fight them without Austrian support. So we can give Austria stuff here in Hungary, which will make them like us more. And then we do have enough stuff to pull them in into the against the Ottomans, definitely. Also, that makes brings them closer, actually. So we are going to. Serbia also has a peasant's war, of course, and we run into it. <laughs> of course we do. And we go for Bosnia. We are going to call Austria in for land. We also call in Milan. Salzburg part where will be taken care of by these two here. And let's go. We are going for the castle immediately. And you will just blockade this guy here. Maybe we can kick Padua out very quickly. Of course we go for severe looting again. I don't want this song again. Maybe we can turn this one off again. There we go. Now we just need the spy network to speed this up slightly. Okay, perfect. Should be an easy war, actually. The only thing that I could imagine is that the Austrian will take Sagoya here. And think they will get it. I'm not going to allow that there. Onwards to Mos uh, Bosna here. Crusade against the Mamluks. Interesting. Hungary is down there. Norway is PU. Yeah, that's fine. Also fine. Okay, these ones will go to Croatia actually. Same as this one because it's Catholic. Oh, these two are also Catholic already. Uh, but I'm going to. Wait a second. Yeah, I think I only want to have Bosnia and Croatia here in the hands of Croatia itself. And the other ones will go to Serbia, in fact. Because that's going to be the maximum extent of Serbia as well, and then we can integrate both of them. Because having this part of the economy of the Balkans will be nice. You can do a lot there. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. Now this one is going to Croatia. We got everything for Croatia here. Good. This one also goes to Serbia. All these civil wars here. Annoying. Or oh, whatever. Can't change it. I think there was some claim here, right? Yeah, the. Yeah, the. 
Rome as a claim. So we are going to actually take Sertica if we can before the Ottomans. Serbia. Okay, and you now basically we are almost at the peace deal already. And I don't want to make this war unnecessarily long because our manpower is gone. We need. We really need to recover for a while. Yeah. All of this is expensive currently. Very expensive. Can we make it? Yeah, we can. <clears throat> okay, policy of tolerance is gone. Now we do have decent conversion speeds again. So basically, we are going to do Oh, wait a second. Padua. Bye bye. Okay, again. Uh, return these three exactly, then we take these. Let's see what we'll go for Croatia done, and then we take all of this. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. And that's all the Serbian culture as well. Yes, perfect. And then we take Sertica as well, if we can. Yeah, we're going to allow the Ottomans access here. Just because it's in our interest to be at war here. Now. Also, we want to give these two to Austria. And he definitely would like them with over five players. Okay, so we can do more. Okay, search is done as well. And now I'm going back to Durazzo because I don't want to raise troops here. Let's see, there we are. 62. France won't like it, but at the end of the year, that will not matter. Hungary, Transylvania, Denmark, Sweden, South Africa, and Norway. Ooh. Our air is of age. So. No, that guy is orthodox. We shouldn't. Diplomatic relation, of course. Manpower, yes. Maybe we get a better trade from our leader this time. Please. Drunkard. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> Why can't we not have good tree, uh, leaders? Leader trades, come on. How old is he? 15. Hmm. Maybe we can do this and can we get, oh yeah, wait a second, we can make him a general. Would be a shame if something would happen to him. Okay. Austria also gets this one, 12 favors. Croatia also has a peasant one of oh, everybody doing peasant wars here. Pest will, or the Pex will also go to Austria here. How about this? Yes. I think that's a war I want to, the piece I want to do here. If we can get it through. Ryan Roman marriage has died, okay.
Right, we need to make new marriages. Yes, one here. Now we just wait. We just wait it out. Yes, the Sturgeon Order has expired. Sadly. Such a nice one. We have 1050 ducats again. We should put that into our capital. Oh, Salzburg is almost siege time. Hmm. Maybe Austria wants Salzburg because it's a very strong power, a very strong province. Maybe they get give me favors for that. Uh, Knights Hospitaller, please placate them again. I know I have negative prestige now, which is annoying, but doesn't matter. Ooh, we can make a claim. We're going to make a claim on this guy here. And now we can recall it. We also want to go against the Pope. Yeah, we also have to do this soon. Where's my fleet? My fleet is here. So, would you like to get Salzburg? He would. Yeah. Salzburg is gone. Perfect. Mobility is gone. At least a leverage here. Okay. 62. Yes, that's fine for me. Okay, we just need more war score now. A lot more war score. But more and more sieges are successful. Castile has picked me as a rival now. Which is, oh no. 73. What are the Ottomans doing there? Are they losing the provinces again? We'd like it. We could prepare for potentially going to war. Fifty-three. Twenty-six favors. I would love that. Yeah, we're getting there. Version is done. Yeah, slow. Now we are talking. We're really getting there. Okay. 58. The war participation, uh, war eagerness is also low now. It's good, Transylvania as well. This one almost done sieging this one as well. Okay. Looking at What's that? Norway. What's Norway doing here? 30 30 points missing. It should be quick now. Just like 10 more war scores or something which should um, make this possible. Because it's mostly that our war goal is anticipated war aims are 83, which is far above 65. K. 
Okay. Now come. Still not done. This one. This one is done. Yeah. And our collage has to fall. Come on. Almost there, looted. Okay, we wait for these two. And then we are out of the out of here. There we are. Perfect. 70%. That's a success. And we can also take can we oh raw reps was already in there, I forgot that. Uh yeah. That's our Whoa, here. Bam. Nope, doesn't fit our agenda. Massive thing here. Awesome. Some people are disloyal again. The knights in this case again. We go for... No, we don't need to rush this. Mm, instead, I need the leverage again. For improved relations. That's very important right now. So concessions. And with the additional... Mm, take that back. I thought we have fixed that. Okay, our war exhaustion is 2.3. We have 4.5k ducats looted. Um, we don't need the spy network here anymore. Instead, we can go back to the Ottoman spy, spy network again. And they have a war exhaustion of 8 now. Perfect. Going to move here already. You're going to wait a bit more. Really? Come on. We are going to integrate the Razzo now. 340. Ah, 54 development, okay. More than expected. And Croatia, 145, poof. And Serbia, 116. Yeah, that's going to cost us a lot of Diplo, tech again, uh, Diplo points again. But we're going to start here now. Yeah, and then we, then we do Serbia and Croatia. Has to be done. And we also need to build up ports here for communication efficiency, but that's something for a different time. Um, yeah, I said we are going to wait a bit. I'm fine with them. Yeah, yeah. If they succeed in that subject, it's fine. Only thing I need to stop is the separatists here. And all of them are Catholic, right? Catholic. Yeah. Okay, good. So the Ottomans are still busy here and losing to attrition. Which is really, really good. Yeah. Someone has a civil war again. Yeah, still up there. Down to 1.6. So like 10 months. 
and we would be out of work sorting. Minus two. Oh. Oh, wait a second. I was blind. I thought there was someone without. So the thing is, we are going to annex these ones here, which should lower the liberty desire of the others significantly, because we are going to get a very hefty Rome, which has a lot of development. Oh, they made peace. Okay. Mm. Didn't take everything. Seriously. Ah. Transylvania is free now. Brilliant. So, I guess that's the moment when we have to join on and declare war on them. Uh, Austria still doesn't want to. And if we... Uh, ask to prepare for war. Exactly. That's not enough. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to make a cut here. I want to make a little bit more shorter episodes here. Because basically that's something for the next episode. This might take a while because we have to fight it on our own. I think it will cost us quite a lot of money. We might need to take mercenaries and such because our manpower might not be enough. Because we are going for a massive peace deal against the Ottomans here. We are going to give Rome a lot of stuff back. So at least the European parts and the Propontis part, which is this one. That's the minimum goal. And then maybe even into Aegean here. Which opens up the Genoa as next one. Hmm. Let's check. Ah, the capital is done. Nice. That's really good. Uh, also, the Harborage 4 is already done. Which means there's no construction ongoing here now. We should. Yeah, we need to invest here again. 100 and here we do have also a commerce problem so 50 let's check Attica again yeah this one is now in the nice low throughput therefore attracting a lot of stuff and the glass industry is not profitable okay <laughs> taking that back Thought glass was nice, but apparently not this one. Mm. Now, we are also annexing Garazzo. We're still above our fourth limit. Mm. <laughs> What's our culture doing here, actually? Well, it's halfway with the conversion here. Lowering the autonomy globally will, of course, have a big impact here. So, this one should go down. Yeah. Doing a second capital, level 2, is something we are going to do soonish as well, but we need more residents urgently. So maybe we could consider... Encourage city growth here. Yeah. But it's a lot of development in this state. I'm not sure that I want that. I think I want, don't want to do this. Yeah, we just have to work with wages and normal migration. Also, we can't do forced migration, I think. And we can still do it due to the... I thought we were already too high, but we have only... Pas this passionate is apparently not too much. Freedom is 73 currently. So I would do... Probably after all these annexations here, we might have enough... 
uh, decrease the lo uh, nobility power to maybe do the peasantry reform. That would be awesome. Yeah, maybe possible. Maybe. Ooh, but what is possible? We have state reached 21% now. Which means we can go up to significant, significant decentralization. And therefore, we are now at a cap of 40. Growing by 0.33 per year. Awesome. That's important. Very important, actually. Because that's also going to give us um, autonomy reduction. We are now at 0.08. So this will go up to 0 0.16. Yep, that's important. Mm-hmm. Also, this reform here will also be very useful later on when we go ham on state reach, which we will do at some point. Particularly when we got the core of the Roman Empire integrated, which, like these provinces here, which have 76% state reach. That's something we really, really want. Meritocracy is present here. Actually, it's 4.2%. 4 Interesting. So it's spreading in the Roman provinces, actually. Yeah. Well. I think we are going to get it when we annex Rome. There's, of course, a pathway when we would have taken Rome over. We could have gotten the meritocracy earlier, which would have been nice, but... It doesn't matter. We can do it without. We... Embrace this one. Spread is, of course, very slow. Casual literacy is the next one. Like a century from now. Yeah, that will be a problem there because we don't have the knowledge production here. Yeah, we only... No. Yeah, we only produce 2.3. That's nothing. We have to invest into this. But something for the future. Well, leave a like and subscribe. See you next time when we go to war with the Ottomans.